uh, uh, a catalyzing role. That means that there are lots of other people who are involved in actually creating, thinking about, and contributing to the IGF USA. And to perhaps steal a, uh, a thread from a previous First Lady of the United States, who, Hillary Clinton, who is now the Secretary of State in the United States, it in fact does take a village to build a national IGF. And we are certainly learning that and learning the value of continuing to grow the size of the village and ensure that there is broad diversity and participation of all of the people who are interested. So you should think of us as talking about really a very nascent um, endeavor that this is our second year, but I think all of us in the steering group really believe that we're just beginning to learn about and to build the environment for the IGF USA initiative. So we're going to just, um, I'm going to skip the introductions because we'll be covering, you'll be hearing from a number of the parties who are in the steering group. We're going to cover quickly the key events and priorities that the IGF USA focuses on, and we're going to hear from uh, Kirsten Bennett, who is with Imagining the Internet, because Imagining the Internet plays a very vital role in providing visibility and a history and documentation to what we are doing. We will then give you a quick report of our uh, program for IGF USA 2010, talk about next steps, and go to audience questions. I'm going to introduce in a few minutes a new topic called the use of scenario stories. And when we get to that point, you'll find the paper in front of you to be particularly relevant because it shares with you some, of, uh, some work that we did in examining future scenarios for the Internet. The purpose and goal of the IGF USA may be very different from that of other national initiatives or regional initiatives. And that may be because our genesis may have been somewhat different. We basically built the steering group out of a um, conference call that um, I convened from my um, Rolodex of about 75 to 85 people and 65 of those people showed up on the conference call to talk about whether or not there was interest in a national event. Um, out of that, we eventually evolved to a steering group that still has 56 people on it and that consistently received the planning information. There's a more informal coordinating group that has evolved out of that of the really heavy lifters, most of whom are here today and who continue to have to respond to 3 a.m. emails and phone calls. And that coordinating group really provides the broad uh, brain trust for thinking about what we're going to do and how we do it. It is very informal, and the steering group remains open, and people do come in and out of the steering group. We were looking at um, an interest in a national initiative driven from a concern that we saw that the phrase Internet Governance didn't actually have much meaning in the United States. And it's really interesting because that is what you just heard for those of you who were here from the Russian IGF as well. Our problem probably was that most people when they think about internet uh, governance were probably thinking that the government ought to be doing it or that it was done by ICANN. So some of the similar problems that we all face in trying to define internet governance. And we started out thinking we need to help define what internet governance is. Um, so we've done two I national IGFs. They have both been held in Washington, D.C. And we will continue with out of the, at the end, the plenary of 2009, the audience participants at the IGF USA 2009 felt that a priority should be uh, the continuation of the IGF and the modalities of the IGF. And so we have continued to reflect that as a priority initiative in IGF uh, USA 2010. We had about 165 attendees in 2009 and about 260 in 2010. And I'm going to turn this over to Kirsten to tell you about the role of imagining the Internet and where to find all of the great work that they have done on behalf of the IGF USA. Thank you, Marilyn. 
Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm Kirsten Bennett, and I'm a research assistant with Imagining the Internet, which is an initiative based out of Elon University in North Carolina. Um, the center's work is basically to assess people's attitudes about the potential future of the Internet, and it, what it does is it helps to inform policy and help identify some key issues moving forward. Um, the Imagining the Internet Center um, is at imaginingtheinternet.org, and you can find all of the information. It includes a documentary video from events like this one. Um, it also carries information gathered in the future of the Internet surveys that we can conduct along with the Pew Internet and American Life Project. Um, you can also find there a vast database of predictions from Internet stakeholders. And um, we've been invited here today by Marilyn to briefly talk about some of the documentary journalism that young researchers at Imagining the Internet have carried out for the regional IGFs over the last two years. So this is a sample of what we did this past summer in 2010, and it was a team of students and faculty from Elon University. Um, and if you click on the link, on the links tab, yes. This is the website um, with information from IGF 2010. Um, and what we did was we videotaped all of the scenarios and workshops in full, and then we took highlights from those and edited them into a flow player that you see to your right. Um, if you click on that, you can see some of the remarks. I would like to point out that the IGF USA is not the only one of these national initiatives. This is actually quite amazing. So this amazing. is an idea of what we do with the, the flow player. We also Tunis do have the full um, video for those that are interested in seeing the full scenarios. And regional um, IGF, we also uh, type meetings. Mm -hmm. It only talked about one, like okay. mushroom, one is tempted. Got it. <laughs> we also um, kept a live a blog with near real time written posts. And also we uploaded video during the conference for those that weren't able to participate in a particular workshop or a panel discussion. Um, and you might be wondering why all of this coverage matters. And the reason that it matters is because the issues of the internet affect everyone. Um, they're vital that stakeholders from all sectors of society discuss these competing values in order to enhance cooperation and arrive at the best possible outcomes. IGF is a forum for these important debates and discussions, but only for those present at IGF or participating remotely. So imagining the Internet's coverage provides a way for these discussions to be carried beyond IGF and make these ideas and issues raised available to all over the very medium we are working to support as it evolves.